There's nothing left of this town. My heart just sank into my stomach. I just was looking at this picture thinking, there is absolutely nothing left. You look down Main Street and there's nothing but like trees cut off at six foot high and just nothing. I mean, you can see right to the horizon. Everything was gone. The school was gone, the churches, City Hall. Greensburg is just absolutely devastated. I mean, the people need our help so much. Studio 804 is here at Sunflower Army Ammunition uh, to dismantle this building behind us. And we're going to take the wood from the building and recycle it and use it for structural lumber. Well, usually as architecture students, we're used to building things. And so trying to learn how to deconstruct as well as build is, is absolutely like incredibly interesting. And this is such a great opportunity with a thousand buildings on the site with all this lumber that is perfectly, you know, structurally sound. So we thought, it, why not, you know, well, and plus it's free. This is really a big first step, at least in terms of construction, because we can't really do anything else until we do this. So Sunflower is probably step one of the construction process. So the deconstruction starts it all. Studio 804 is a comprehensive um, experience for students that are about to graduate and uh, it affords them an opportunity to not only do design work but to go through the process of building and we begin with obtaining a site and getting funding and then uh, doing design and of course building. I think everyone's just excited to do something for real, to do a real building to get out of the studio and, and stop drawing and start building something. We learn a lot about design through building too because we're seeing it get finished and we're seeing how it's completed and how when we just sign off on our drawings how other people are going to do it. I was talking to a fellow yesterday on the phone and they were just so excited to know that we we're going to come down there. And the people in the town is alive when you talk to people. It's really important to me to be able to go there and help them and, and give back whatever I can, do whatever I can to make their situation better. I'm just looking forward to seeing you know the looks on those people's faces, and you know I'm glad we can you know be a part of that project. And tragic as the tornado was, I think that it was really amazing the way they embraced the opportunity to, to rebuild. I think it's really exciting because we know they want us and we know that they need it. We hope that our building there and being the first one in there really inspires them and keeps them going.